Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel where we talk about all things Asian beauty, skincare, and lifestyle. And as we have just wrapped up Christmas and are literally counting down the days, counting down the days until 2021, I thought it would be the perfect time to do a best of Korean beauty 2020 edition. Now, as you guys have seen in several of my videos, I do review and try out a lot of new products. So in this video, I wanted to just break it down and share with you guys my top products that I reach for in 2020 that I highly recommend you guys picking up. And before we get started with this week's video, make sure to go ahead and comment down below letting me know what your go-to product of 2020 was and let's get right on into it. So I'm gonna be introducing you guys to all of these products step by step as if I were applying them to my face, which means that the first category we are tackling in this video is the primer. Now, hands down, the best primer that I tried in 2020 has to go to the VDL Luma Layer Primer. Now, this primer actually did super well in the Japanese beauty community as well because of its gel-like consistency that makes it super, super easy to apply, and it also helps your foundation that lasts all throughout the day while keeping your skin moisturized, which is a huge plus for me. On top of that, it has these purple reflexes that actually reflects the light to make your skin look pearly and dewy and glowy and youthful. So all around, this product is absolutely amazing to add into your collection. The next category is cushion foundations. Now, if you guys have been on my channel for a little bit, at least in 2020, you would already know how many videos this year I've actually dedicated to cushion foundations from finding the best affordable ones to sharing with you guys my top five but it was actually really easy for me to pick my absolute favorite of this year and it has to go to the nature republic province smart barrier cushion in moist now this cushion foundation i did an entire video about which you guys can go ahead and check out i'll leave a card for it here if you guys are interested in checking out the entire video but compared to other cushion foundations i found that it lasted on my skin a lot longer than any other cushion foundations super easy to apply once again and also just makes your skin look super healthy but not overly glowy or oily which some cushion foundations do end up doing so I absolutely just enjoyed this one through and through every single time I used it and once again I've done an entire video about it if you guys do want to see a more in-depth review moving on into the next category concealers now this concealer I feel like everyone was raving about for the last two years and honestly, it's still one of my top go-to Korean beauty favorites. This is the Sam Tip Concealer. You guys have probably already heard about this before, but it's such an affordable concealer that everyone can really just use in their day-to-day -day routine because of how creamy it is, how brightening, and how easy it is to apply. It once again comes with this doe foot applicator that you could just apply to the spots that you want to cover up or just your under eye area. It's honestly something that's super blendable, super easy to use. And the best part about it is I think it's under $5. I'm gonna correct myself if I'm wrong in post, but this is honestly just always a go-to. The next category is brows, and I absolutely had to include this product in it to the 2020 Best of Beauty because it is affordable and easy to use. This is the Apu Skinny Brow Cara. It's a tinted brow gel that you just run through your eyebrows for a very easy and very wearable look. I honestly love this. First off, once again, because it is affordable, because when K-Beauty works well and is affordable, it's definitely going to be in one of my holy grail product lists, and this is no exception. I did feature this in my affordable under $10 K-Beauty video, I believe, and it's honestly been my favorite ever since. Now moving on into the next category of eyeshadows, this is probably the category that I was kind of stumped upon because I do love so many different eyeshadow palettes because I love experimenting with my eye makeup look the most, but through and through, this one kept on popping up in my head. This is the Kareem Co. Shabam Shabam Eyeshadow Palette. I feel like the colors just look so good on my skin color. I've done an entire makeup look using this palette as well, which you guys can go ahead and check out. But I honestly love the shimmers and the mixes of the matte colors. And I find that it's a very good balance of 
pigmentation and buttery smooth matte shadows. So I really do recommend this once again, very affordable, which I absolutely love. Now moving on into the next category of liquid liners. This is another product that I actually featured in the affordable makeup video. Honestly, who doesn't love K-Beauty that's affordable, but actually really, really good. This is the McQueen Waterproof Pen Eyeliner, and these eyeliners are absolutely amazing. They're super highly pigmented, and they come with a felt tip applicator, which makes it super easy to create that wing that you're trying to achieve. And it also does come in a black and deep brown. For a more natural look, I'll reach towards the brown color. And then on a day that I want to define my eyes just a little bit more, I'll go for the black one. Now moving on into the cheek category, I've been using this product since February of this year and I've still been using it every single day. This is the Oops Tint Cheek Cushion from Berry Sum. I absolutely love this just because of the easy application process. It has this cushion puff on top. All you have to do is squeeze the tube and then pat it onto your face and then I just like to blend it out with my fingers. If I'm not wearing a lot of makeup and just wearing sunscreen and some blush and some mascara, this is definitely my go-to product. Once again, super easy to pack, but blendable, and it's super highly pigmented, but buildable, which is a huge thing for me. Uh, so definitely, if you're looking for a new product to try out in 2021, pick this one up. For the bronzer category, this has been a staple of mine for years now, and I actually have not really tried out any new bronzers that I really liked in 2020, but this is something that I had to mention. If you're getting into K-Beauty, this is a go-to kind of cult favorite in the K-Beauty community. This is the Too Cool for School Art Class by Rodin Shading Palette. It comes in a series of light and dark. I reach for the lighter one because I'm not huge on contouring. I just like to lightly outline my face and my cheekbone area, but this is a really nice palette because it's super matte. Once again, very easy to blend out and is a cold favorite. So definitely go ahead and try this one out. Now for the lips, I had to split this into two categories of lipstick and lip tint just because I could not decide between the two. First off for the lipstick category, I absolutely, hands down, love the Dear Dahlia lipstick. First off, the packaging is absolutely amazing and gorgeous. I love their attention to detail when it comes to packaging on any of their makeup items. And also this color of this like rosy pink color is something that I really towards quite frequently. It was my go-to work lip color as well, and it doesn't smudge or smear as much as other lipsticks do. Super easy to apply because it's super creamy and moisturizing, and it didn't crack my lips throughout the day, so definitely had to make it into this list. Last but not least for the lip tint category, you guys obviously know how much I love lip tints. I've done so many videos on them, but through and through, I always reach towards my Romand Zero Velvet tints in 2020. I have them in several different colors, but unlike any lip tint, this is almost a moussey tint that's super, super, super long lasting, highly pigmented. And it's something that I love using just because you can blur it out with your fingertips and it creates a highly pigmented look that's not too in your face. I'm wearing it on my lips right now and it really just doesn't budge. And I drink a lot of coffee. So this is a definite had to be in the best of K-Beauty list for me this year. So that's gonna be it for this week's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, make sure to check out the description box because I've left all the links to all the products that I mentioned in this week's video in the description box down there for you guys to just make it easier. And also there is a coupon code for those of you guys who do wanna save a little bit of money when purchasing these products. It's all down there. It's like a mini Christmas in the description box. But I wanted to end off this video by saying thank you so, so, so much for all the support. I just realized when turning on this camera to film this week's video that this is going to be our last Saturday upload for 2020. Now I know that 2020 has been such an insane year for all of us and we've all gone through so much as a community. So I wanted to thank you guys so, so much for coming to this side of the internet and just talking about Asian beauty and skincare with me online. It really does mean the world to me and I hope that this channel is a place where you guys 
guys can escape for a little bit and just, you know, hang out and have fun here on the internet. So thank you guys so, so much. It really does mean the world to me how much you guys support me here on YouTube and on my Instagram. I honestly just love making content and connecting with you guys. So I really hope that we can all tr like make it to the 2021 together and you know keep talking about our favorite thing asian beauty and once again if you haven't done so already like this video and want to join the community make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already and i will see you guys in the new year wow <laughs>